We got two different sets here, one for the verse, one for the chorus. So here are my verse arps. So this is what they look like and they're just jumping back and forth. I kind of got my root note in the bottom. That's kind of what I like to do for arps is I'll have a root note that is kind of the foundation of the arp and then I'll have the secondary sound bouncing up and down the scale. And so that's what we have here. And since I kind of have two notes playing at a time instead of just one, I decided to split these up and pan them slightly. So I've one panned slightly left and one pan slightly right. So that's what the left looks like. That's what the right looks like. And then these are both using the key blender from Synth Controls Serum Priest Dreamwave preset pack. And then the only really effect I have on these is some bit crushing, very subtle bit crushing. So it's a little extra grittiness. You hear it more when it goes up, up an octave here. So yeah, it just kind of gets a little duller without that. Then I was trying to kind of control the harshness here. So I have some EQ taking out some of the harsher frequencies here. Also some multiband compression, trying to tamp those down as well. And I also have a little bit playing here as kind of help transition from the pre-chorus to the chorus. And also has a little bit of Abbey Road vinyl here. So here's a vinyl tool. There's also a free vinyl plugin you can check out by Isotope. I'll have that linked in the description. And then that takes us to our chorus here, where again we have this blender ARP plucks kind of going back and forth. And then they also, I added in this Syntronic sound, which is Pizzicato Angel here by Syntronic. And so that altogether sounds like this. So it kind of adds a dreamy haze to it, kind of trying to add to that kind of wall of sound concept here for that dreamy shoegaze type effect, um, but still trying to maintain some semblance of those that plucky art with the the key the key blender that's uh, panned to either side. Then it also goes up an octave here. And that's it all the way through. So that is it for the ARP. Not a lot of effects on these. Again, just kind of controlling the harshness and a little bit of bit crushing. That is it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to send that like button back to the upside down like you're 11 attacking a Demigorgon. Otherwise, if you want more help creating synthwave music, then be sure to click the video playing on the screen right now. This includes my full in-depth tutorial on creating synthwave music start to finish. And as always, have an awesome day. Keep creating.